Right, I'm going to talk about MPPT. Um, I get a lot of questions about our inverters on MPPT and fully understanding and appreciate them. I'll talk about our 8.8 .8 kilowatt inverter. That's got a 10 kilowatt MPPT maximum. So very simple. I've got, I'll draw here. So I've got four connections. There's two MPPTs plus negative plus negative. Okay, there's, there's two. Um, simple, I get my string of solar panels and, and I'm talking standard 320 watt, 72 cell, uh, uh, roughly nine solar panels can connect together. Slightly depends on the panel and that will go into there and that will go into there. Important thing, most important thing is VOC, voltage open circuit. So you need to look at the VOC. The VOC absolute max 480 volts. 480 volt max. That's absolute max. This can damage the inverter. So if you go above that, it will damage the DC to DC conversion. It doesn't matter if you go above it on the solar panel array. If you put more solar panel wattage, then it doesn't matter. And I'll explain why. So in fact, here I can put in a second, a second uh, string of panels and I can join them via a combiner box or I can join them directly into the inverter. Here, there's two sets of connections. Uh, each MPPT on the bigger one has got two sets of connections. And here, I've maybe put 18 solar panel and one MPPT, so I can double up and then go in parallel. And then I can set my other one. Um, they all work. They do work independently, and they're completely independent. And you've actually got two MPPT, MPPT. And you've got another one here, MPPT. And these these connect to there, and then the output the output of the two are joined together. And then that, that feed, that will then go into charge the batteries or supply the load or whatever you've chosen for the option. Now I'll explain the reason a little bit more why, and I'll try and explain So i try to do a very short video, but okay. So simple terms and a very, very simplified circuit. So if we have in a V, which is a volt source, we'll call, we'll call this as our volt source, okay? The solar panels. And then here we've got, I measure my current, my current here, which is I, and then here, and here, I go on to I put as a resistor, and this is the MPPT, and I'll put an R, which is the load, and this is the load. So basically, the voltage is the most important thing. The, the R, will, on the MPPT, it will vary the R, it's not a fixed R, it will vary, so it will pull the power through its DC to DC converter, and what it needs and the I will vary the voltage will remain constant you can't vary the voltage this can't drop the voltage because always here if this is 480 volt this will always see 480 volts here always but the current will vary depending what the MPPT will draw it's very simple you know your current your I is your voltage obviously over your resistance Ohm's law everyone knows Ohm's law so that's a very simple thing. You also, obviously, you know that your wattage is, is, is obviously dependent on this. So your wattage is your I, which is what it's pulling. And this is the, u, the, the, the usable times V equals wattage. So the I times V is your wattage. It's very simple, very, very simple stuff. But what the point I'm trying to make is the doesn't matter on the size of the solar array. The most important thing is the voltage now what you for example in some countries like maybe the uk you might over over spec on the on the um solar array because you're not going to get sun and one thing about it if you go over spec on this you, you actually have an extended day so if your panels can only produce one sun hour and you put a bigger one you might actually get more production out of it because it over a longer period it, the mppt is going to be maxing out over a longer period cost wise it's not necessarily a good idea but if cost is not so important, it's more trying to get the maximum out of it than a bigger array, uh, but be very careful on your voltage. That's the most important thing. So that, that's something, you know, I mean, what you have to do, if you look on the panel, go off the panel, the panel makers, but you can check it yourself. Very, very simple thing to check. So I've got panel here. So this is a, a small panel and you look at the number of cells in here. One, two, three, four, and this four is four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 20 cell. Okay, 20 cell. Each cell, VOC, 
is 0 0.6 volt. So 0 0.6 volt is the VOC voltage. So 20 times 0 0.6, 12 volt. So this is a 12 volt. If I have a, if I have a bigger one, then it's, it's bigger and so on. You can just count the cells. Now the second voltage on this is the usable voltage, the MP voltage, and this is actually 0.5 volt. So basically this would be a 10 volt panel. Now some of the manufacturers take a little bit of compensation, whatever, but to be safe, count the cells because sometimes they do vary, but double check it with the data of the manufacturer and you can measure it. And also when you're measuring the VOC, it might necessarily be very sunny and then suddenly you've got a really sunny day and the voltage is going to shoot up. So do it by calculation uh, or, or, or physically counting the cells because otherwise you may end up um, blowing the, uh, the DC to DC converter on the MPPT itself. And that's quite important. So to repeat, voltage is important. The voltage, not necessarily the wattage. So, and the wattage basically is just for optimization. So you're not wasting power and then you will split between the two MPPTs. So if you've got an array, you've got 36 panels, you put 18 on one, 18 on the others, nice. And you've got, you, you pretty much, it's maximum. So that's it. So I hope that's useful. Thank you.